Stories of the World is one of the major projects at the heart of London 2012's Cultural Olympiad. The Geoffrey Museum explores London urban middle classes and particularly the homes, home lives and gardens. As part of Stories of the World, we will work with young people to open up our collections to tell the inspirational stories of London's relationship with the world. The Geoffrey Museum has been running a series of youth and community engagement activities and this all kicked off when we set up our youth advisory panel to advise us on the direction of the Stories of the World project. We're basically trying to get other youth to come to the museum because it's just more for young people. Yeah. We kind of organise events that are going to be taking place in the museum. Swing into summer event is something they can come to and get involved with free activities. I'll be helping out by giving out leaflets at the station and welcoming people. We've also had a series of curatorial and educational internships. My role is to contribute creative ideas and help organise and programme the events around Stories of the World. Right about a moment with that object. I'm organising a workshop called Speak Up. People talk about objects and what they mean to them and then they write a three stanza poem and perform it to everybody in the gardens. Being a V50 intern here has definitely changed what I viewed about like English homes. I had no idea that different cultures had a lot of influence on the home centuries ago. We've also had paid opportunities be made available to young people and these have included our Young Ambassadors programme. The history's come in and changed everything and we just think oh it's really British mm. and it shows how sort of multicultural we are. The best thing about Stories of the World from my point of view is working with young people to look at collections in new and exciting ways. The young people look at objects within the collection, work with curators to research them and find out interesting cross-cultural stories about those objects. People just love that, the look of that kind of Japanese technique. This has been particularly focusing on digital outputs. Film workshops, animation workshops, storytelling. What's wonderful about them in particular is that it shows young people getting so close to the collection, getting into the collection stores and doing object handling, getting within our period rooms and that's been really fantastic to see. Jeffrey Museum is one of the hub museums and each of us work with five smaller museums across London. Each of our cluster partners relates to the theme of home in a particular way that's unique to them. Kadambe Atalachi House is literally carved by the occupier who was a Kenyan-born poet. His house is like a music box, something that opens up, you know, when you come in. We're working with a group of young people with the aspiration of creating a soundscape. We have been recording lots of sounds from the house. Sampling Adami's record collection. He absolutely loved Swan Lake, so we thought that fits perfectly to have that music. And that's so welcoming and homely. Leighton House and 18 Stafford Terrace were also homes of artists. And he visited lots of places, so it's very cultural, it's multicultural. We've had an external drama company come in to work with the young people. The performance on Friday is set in different rooms. It's going to be a pulled out performance. Ending up in the artist studio here, where the models are having a bit of a, yes, a spat. Even behind the screens, girls with terror. I kind of feel at home here. I, I come in and I just walk up the stairs and into the room. And it, it feels like home. The Design Museum has been working on a summer project called Design Upon a Time. We've been looking at things around the museum, getting inspiration from those, and then we've been incorporating those ideas into ideas of our own. It's been really interesting to learn about how products in the home have been designed. The young people have been designing products that they would implement into a future streetscape of London. We actually made a model of something that we thought would be useful for the future. Dorwich House is a very interesting mix of a home gallery. Dorwich House has been running a project with Kingston Refugee Action this summer. We've been working to create dioramas that would represent our ideal home or space. Creating our own little spaces in these cardboard boxes we were given. Thinking about how you would put things in, into that space. I learned lots of things and 
I feel quite hard to make it, but they help me, and I wish my house like that. Kate's House has set up a Young Poets Forum. Their emphasis is very much on putting young people's voices within the house. They picked an object and they had to write a poem imagining that they lived inside this object. The mirror is like the eyes of the home of the house, so I wanted to bring it out and show it to people. The workshop has definitely made me feel that I can be more observant in my own home. There's things right under my nose that I could write about and celebrate. As the Museum of the Home, we are working alongside young people to plan a major exhibition for 2012. The work that's been produced from the creative projects at the Jeffrey Museum will feed into the big exhibition in 2012. The legacy of Stories of the World will be, for the young people, new knowledge about history and contemporary culture. Stories of the World has a great emphasis on CV enhancement and skills development and it's great to run creative projects that have such a big emphasis on those things. Traditionally museums haven't worked well with young people and this is a great opportunity to attract young people to our organisations.